Yo guys, what's going on? Dr. Monix here, coming back at you with a new video here on YouTube. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We do battle lounges, we play some ranked, we goof around, and we just generally talk about Street Fighter and other fighting games. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to head on over. I left a link in the video description below. Also, if you guys have any questions on this video, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Now, in this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make the DP motion easier for Jury. Now, Street Fighter builds its foundation on the fireball motion. As some of you guys may know that have played Street Fighter a little bit, or for some of you guys that do not know what the fireball motion is, it's specifically down, forward, and any button where a fireball will come out. So with Ryu, it would have been down, forward, punch. With Jury, it's down, forward, kick. Okay, so for Jury, it's down, forward, kick. We get a fireball, or we get one of her stores. It's the foundation for any special move in Street Fighter. The reason why I say that this is important is because we're going to be incorporating it into our DP shortcuts. Now, there's three DP shortcuts I believe that every player needs to know. And for the first one that we're going to go over is the forward, down, forward motion. As you can see there, the down, forward motion has already made its appearance. So in order to practice this, what you guys are going to need to do before you get faster and better at it is to just simply walk forward at your opponent in training mode. Don't put them on guard or anything like that. Just leave them be and you're going to walk at them. And when you're ready, you're going to do the down forward motion just like you would do a fireball and then you're going to hit the button that will give you the dp with jury it's going to be the punch button so as you can see here i'll try to show you guys it's going to be forward down forward and you'll get a dp motion i'll try to do this one in slow motion on the video so let's see how it looks Okay, guys, so the next DP shortcut that I'm going to be showing you guys is the diagonal. Bring it to the center just a little bit, just a little motion back to where we started in the diagonal position. So let me show you guys again. So it's bring it down just a little motion. That's literally enough. And you bring it back. I see a lot of people, their mistake is they do this and then they go all the way to the left. And they bring it back. You will not get the DP if you do this. It's literally just a small movement that you need in order to get it. So let me show you guys this right now. Right, we're just a little movement. Remember that. Okay, guys. So the final way that I'm going to show you how to do a DP shortcut is going to be diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Now, this is the worst shortcut of the three, but it has its place and its use in Jury's game plan or in Street Fighter all over the game. So the way to do this is to simply do what I said, diagonal, 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 and you got to do it quick and the DP motion should come out. Watch. Okay, so now that we know how to do the DP shortcuts, we're going to start incorporating them into our jury game, specifically first with our combos. So everybody knows the jury B and B, right? Everybody knows her B and B combo with her medium store. I see a lot of you guys end in the backflip, which is fine. You can end the backflip. I do sometimes as well. However, it's less damage and you don't get as good of an Oki or an Oki Zeme which is when your opponent gets up, how well you pressure them off of the backflip compared with a heavy DP. So in order to change that, we're going to incorporate the down forward, bring it slightly back, down forward motion. And you'll see here, I'll do it in slow motion for you guys on the video. You'll see how I'm able to do it. After I do the medium store, you'll see that instead of going down and doing the medium punch into the flip i'm going to go down forward bring it back slightly just a little bit into the into the heavy dp so let's see it
Okay, so the next way that we can incorporate these DP motions or shortcuts into our game plan is with this combo right here. Right, so as you guys saw there, after this combo was actually very beneficial because it gives you pretty good damage and you get a store as well. And Jury's target combo is actually very good starting up at six frames and you're going to be using this combo a lot. And if Ken was crouching, you can actually get an, an extension of the B&B &B combo that also incorporates this motion, as you can see here. So let's get Ken to crouch. We're going to go from the target combo into a store into a dp using that forward down forward motion and i'll put it in i'll do it twice and on the second time i'll slow it down All right, so the last one that we're going to talk about is the down forward, down forward, down forward shortcut. I normally don't use this shortcut a whole lot, but it has its place in Jury's combo game uh, with a, a small combo that I like to do once in a while if it's a high pressure situation and I don't really know what else to do or, uh, you know, I'm just, oh my God, what do I do? I can't believe it hit or something like that or I caught the dash. Uh, it's with this back button and the reason why the down forward down forward down forward is so good is With this is because it hits twice and it lasts a long time So if you were to do this and then go into the other ones the timing of it is not the greatest So if you do the down forward down forward down forward, you don't need to time it You can kind of mash it out and it'll always come out see And there you guys go the next thing that we're going to learn is how to incorporate the dp shortcuts into our punish game now something that you guys need to know is that in this game with moves that you block that are a lot of hits in quick succession if you go from blocking them to not blocking them the game will hold your guard so with ken's tatsu it hits a couple times so if I'm blocking it, after it hits me the first time, I can go from blocking to not blocking and the game will hold my guard. And a lot of you guys probably already notice where we are on the joystick. We're in the forward position. So what does that mean? We can go from the forward position to the down forward movement and that will give us a DP and a much easier punish that you hopefully will not miss. So let me record Ken doing a heavy tattoo into an EXDP and let's see how we can make it easier. So the next way that I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate the down forward a diagonal bringing it just ever so slightly to the middle and then bringing it back to our original position in the down forward diagonal position is in the neutral game so jury has some pretty good buttons in the neutral game not the best in the game but they're pretty good so one of the ways in neutral that we can incorporate this dp motion into our game uh, which i use a lot is by walking back and forth playing the neutral and then when I want to go in for a hit on Ken or I want to whiff a button that he... I want to hit a whiff button that he put out or something, I'll go into the... Instead of going down in order to do the de like the crouching medium kick or the crouching medium punch, I'll go into the forward diagonal position because look where we are. Now we're in a position where we can buffer, which means that we can input the DP shortcut that we learned earlier and we'll get a dp if we hit ken but if we don't hit ken we won't get the dp right so if i was to walk forward and hit ken right now i would actually get the dp but as you guys can see here me doing the motion i'm not getting it right so if i let me walk forward now and hit him and you guys will see what i mean 
right so i'm in neutral i want to go for a hit on ken i'm walking around and like i said before, instead of going down you're going to go down forward and there you go right you can also do it with the crouching medium kick All right, guys, that does it for today's tutorial. If you guys liked it, please leave a like below. Also, leave a comment telling me how I may improve my tutorials or if you have any questions about today's tutorial. Don't forget, guys, I stream on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays over on Twitch TV. The link is down in the description starting at 9 p.m. Eastern. Hopefully, this tutorial helped you guys, and I'm out. Peace.